Okay, here's the plan. Prague, Czech Republic has seven different modes of public transit. Bus, trolleybus, tram, metro, train, boat and funicular. In today's challenge, I'm going to try to ride all of these modes in the shortest time possible. Before we do that, we need to establish some basic rules. First of all, time starts when the first vehicle starts moving and time ends when the last vehicle starts moving. Second of all, I'm counting buses and suburban buses as one, because they're pretty much the same thing. The only difference is that suburban buses go beyond the city limits of Prague. Last but not least, I'm not counting bike share bikes as a mode of transit. You can take two 15 minute rides per day for free if you have a public transit pass, but they're not integrated into the public transit system, at least not yet, so I'm not counting them. Without further ado, let's get into the challenge. I'm starting the challenge in Letňany, in the northeast of the city. I'm going to take a short trolleybus ride from Dobratická to Výstaviště Letňany, which is the biggest expo center in Prague. This is a very short trip, only taking a minute. Before long, the trolleybus arrived. One thing that really surprised me is the quietness and the smoothness of the ride. As a person who frequently rides buses, I'm used to pretty loud and bumpy rides, so that was a welcome change of pace. Trolleybuses in Prague are interesting, to say the least. Currently, there's just one trolleybus line, and it only runs six times a day and only on the weekends, because it's still in testing. More trolleybus lines are in construction. The airport bus line 119 is currently being electrified, and the first trolleybus should run in 2024. After a very short ride, I arrived at Vistavishti Letnany bus stop, which marks the first completed mode of transport. I began waiting for a normal bus to take me to Letnany metro station, and just a few minutes later, a bus arrived. This ride was very short too, taking only 2 minutes. It was back to the bumpy, pretty noisy ride that I know too well. After the 2 minute ride, I found myself in the middle of a field, walking down into the Letnany metro station. This station has an interesting history. In 2007, the city government submitted a bid to host the 2016 Summer Olympics. The Letnany district was supposed to host the biggest stadium, so the C metro line needed to be extended to bring people to the stadium. After the 2008 financial crisis hit, the bid was withdrawn and all that was left was the Letnany metro station, located in the middle of a field. The station now serves the Letnany Expo Center, a bus terminal and numerous apartment buildings, which are unfortunately pretty far from the station. After a few minutes of waiting, the train arrived and I started making my way to Vltavská station, from where I would continue the run. The C metro line is the oldest metro line in Prague. The first segment was opened in 1974, and the last extension to the aforementioned Letnany station was opened in 2008. The line also hosts the busiest metro segment in the city, with 291,000 people passing between the stations IP Pavlova and Vyšehrad. After a 30 minute metro ride, I got off the metro at Vltavská station and made my way to the surface. To be honest, my original plan was to run to the boat dock, since I only had 11 minutes to transfer, but because I saw a tram coming, I decided to take a short tram ride. After a 1 minute tram ride, I got off at a very dug up tram stop. I needed to get to the boat dock, which was pretty much underneath me, so I decided to walk along the tram tracks and then go down the stairs to the dock. After around 8 minutes of waiting, the boat came and I boarded it with a few people. Soon after, the boat started moving and we slowly made our way across the Vltava river. Prague's boats are an often overlooked method of transit. They are fully integrated into the public transit system. They accept regular tickets, but they are not operated by the Prague Public Transit Company. The boats are run by three private companies, translated as Prague Venice LLC, Prague Steamship Company Joint Stock Company and Vitus Group LLC. Currently, there are six functioning boat lines. I'm currently on the P7 line from Holeshovitska Tržnice to Rohanský Ostrov. This line itself is quite interesting. It's just a temporary line running until the completion of the Stanice Bridge. That's the reason why the tram stop was so dug up, by the way. After a three minute boat ride, we docked at Rohanský Ostrov, and with that, that's another method of the list. After climbing up some very long stairs, I found out that the station isn't in the best condition. I made my way around a big pool of muddy water and started walking to the Křižíkova tram stop. From there, I would take a tram to Florence and there, I would transfer to the metro. After a bit of waiting, the tram arrived and I was absolutely delighted when I saw that the tram was absolutely packed. Whatever, I only had to ride two stations. In the middle of my tram journey, the tram passed onto the amazingly named Negrelli Viaduct, the longest railway bridge in Prague, named after the railway engineer Alois Negrelli. After a few minutes, I was walking down to the depths of the Florence C metro station. 
I needed to take the metro for the second time to get to the Prague main train station so I could get on a train and knock out another mode of transit. I had some very good timing because just a few seconds after I got down to the platform the train came. When I was riding the metro to the main train station it hit me. I only had 4 minutes to transfer to the train and the train station is quite large. I had to run across the whole thing to get to the platform in time. Thankfully I made it in time and just a few minutes later the train started moving. The trains are a quite unique part of the Prague public transit system. They are fully integrated into the city's transit system. You can use regular tickets or you can buy dedicated train tickets. Like the boats, the trains aren't run by the Prague public transit company, but unlike the boats they aren't run by private companies but rather by the national train operator České Dráhy. There are also private train operators, but only České Drahy's trains are integrated into the Prague public transit system. My ride took 7 minutes. I needed to get off at Praha Smichov train station and then transfer to this run's third tram ride. I had another tight transfer to make, since I only had 2 minutes to run across the train station to the tram stop. Thankfully, I made it just in time and before long I was headed to the US station. There I would transfer to the funicular and with that officially finish the run. I haven't really had a chance to talk about the trams. Prague's trams are a key component of the city's transit system. There are 26 lines during the day and 10 during the night. A lot of the system runs in dedicated right of ways, so the trams getting stuck in traffic is relatively rare. The tram I'm currently on is a Škoda 15T model, the newest tram model running in the city. However, the system is best known for the older Tatra T3 trams, which still run frequently around the city. This tram model is the most produced in the world, even running in faraway places like Pyongyang, North Korea. After 8 minutes of riding the tram, I arrived at the US station and began running to the funicular station. I made it in time, but unfortunately there was a huge queue and not enough space in the vehicle, so I had to wait 10 minutes for the next one. After 10 minutes of waiting, I made my way onto the funicular. Now, I was just waiting for it to start moving to finish the run. And now, since the last vehicle started moving, the run is officially finished with a time of 1 hour and 25 minutes. The journey was quite interesting. It took me from Dobratická to Výstavešti Letňany to Letňany to Vltavská to Holešovická Držnice to Rohanský ostrov to Křižíkova to Florence to Hlavní nádraží to Smíchovské nádraží to Ujezd and then to Nebozízek. Before we finish this last ride we need to talk about the Prague funicular. Prague's funicular is quite popular with tourists both from the Czech Republic and abroad so that was the reason why there was such a massive queue. It was originally built in the late 19th century, but the current iteration has been running since 1985. After a few minutes I got off at Nebozizek, the intermediate station in the system. With this final view of cloudy Prague, I believe that this run was a success. You can try to beat my time if you find yourself in Prague, just be warned that the trolley bus only runs on the weekends, at least for now. Thank you for watching to the end, this has been Tramley and I'll see you in the next one, bye!